Right, so I'm gonna show you the prompt you can use to get results similar to the ones you see on the screen here and a bunch of these ones right here, which essentially got us with AI SEO to rank for a bunch of these keywords, get a bunch of traffic in a short amount of time. This stuff right here as well, this result right here as well, this one as well, the growth here isn't just about the numbers, it's the growth rate. The number of key rankings, this guy, by the way, are a fintech company that just bought a bank for 35 million euros. They're hiring 100 people and they're using the same strategy and the same prompts that I'm about to show you. This guy right here even had such as impressive results that SEM Rush commented the impressive results and the results are in fact impressive, right? He grew from zero to almost 3,000 uh, visitors a month and almost 6,000 organic key rankings. And here's the graph from Google Search Console. So these are all results that are replicable with the prompt that I'm about to give you. Now, going to ChatGPT, and again, this is a video on leveraging AI to produce SEO content. Now, the issue with ChatGPT is that you can only give it text inputs right here, right? You can only give it so much, right? And we all know that with AI, the better the input, so the better is the info you fit to the AI, the better the output. So if the input is a bit trash, the output will be a bit trash. And we want to be able to produce high quality content that actually has the opportunity and the chances to rank on Google, just like the stuff you see here and all these results right here. Now, a way in which you can do this is first things first, there's just the first step, is to give it brand context, right? What does this mean, right? Your brand, and I give this example often, often, but yeah, your brand is made out of assets, right? An asset is your website. Your website is, is one of your brand's assets. Your LinkedIn page is a brand asset. Your Facebook page is a brand asset. Any text documents you have are brand assets. Same thing for audio documents, right? Images, right? All of these stuff are brand assets. And so if you're able to connect the AI, in this case, ChatGPT, with your brand and give the AI context about your brand, the AI is able to write content using your brand's tone of voice, your brand's mannerisms, your, your, your brand's images, right? It's as if because the AI knows and is essentially introduced to your brand, it knows as much as you do, you being the owner or founder of the brand, so it's able to produce brand-tailored content, so non-AI generic type of content, because you want to stay away from that type of content, right? You want to be able to produce content that's brand-tailored, right? That has some essence to it. Right, and a way in which you can do this with ChatGPT is simply by saying, okay, before you, uh, the prompt's gonna be bigger, right? But at some point, write something like this. Before you write anything, make sure to go here, and let's say this is our site right here. Let's go here as such to get the most context over the brand as you possibly can. Right. And so this is a way in which you can give, and again, you can use different prompts here, give context to the AI about your brand. Now, the issue with ChatGPT is that the context giving is quite limited, right? Because you don't want to just produce a wall of text, right? You don't want you, your articles should not be like a huge wall of text. Even if it's brand tailored using your own brand's tone of voice and brand's mannerisms, this isn't good enough, right? Because there are going to be people that produce and leverage AI to produce content that's, that's 10 times better with featured images, right? That convey what the article is about, a proper table of contents, right? Proper article structuring with in article images, right? In article videos, bullets, tables, quotes, even links, right? Links to your homepage, right? Links to uh, the contacts page, maybe links to other blog posts of your, right? Uh, maybe links to affiliates, right? Also links to external sources, maybe to Wikipedia, maybe to TechCrunch, maybe to Bloomberg, right? All of these little signals, the internal links, the external links, the images, the bullets, the videos, the tables, the quotes, all of these make this article, this piece of content, so much more attractive, sorry, than this right here, right? And unfortunately, with ChatGPT, you're not yet, not yet able to achieve such level of detail, right? And I mean, you don't have to use this here, but I wanna show you the, the concept of the better the input, the better the output, right? For example, in ChatGPT, again, you have only this box right here. With this AI, the prompt, the, the prompt, the input for the, for the AI is all of this right here, right? And so you select how many articles you want, right? That's to 300. You select if you want videos, if you want images. And I'll go over these in a second here. I first wanna show you like how the articles look like, the output of the article. So let me go here and choose the gardening niche because I generated a couple of articles for this niche. And what you see here, what you're gonna see here, I generated six articles, right? And all of these have a proper featured image. This is done by AI, by the way. A proper table of contents, right? And we give the user everything that he needs to know right at the top, right? We don't wanna to have to make him scroll down, right? And this ties in with the on-page SEO stuff that I've talked about in the past, right? The articles need to be 
optimized for search and you need to satisfy the user search intent as best and as fast as possible, right? But I'll, I'll more on that later on. So again, proper article structuring with in article images, internal links, external links, bullets, tables, quotes, there's even videos that are relevant to what the content is about, right? And I, I mean, I've generated a lot of them here. I can just click next and view more of them, right? These are all done with AI. And I can straight publish them to my site via clicking this button one by one, or just click here, publish all to integration and all, th all six will be published to my site. Now, that's something that ChatGPT doesn't allow you to do. And the thing about AI is that you gotta think about AI as a, as a tool, right? As let's call this a wrench, right? And yes, I can like tighten up a bolt with my hand one by one, or I can use a tool a wrench, right, to do it faster and do it more, right? And AI essentially is this. It is a tool that allows you to do more stuff faster and better, right? Because again, with ChatGPT, yeah, you can produce the content, but then you have to go out and find images, find videos, and you have to find a way to automatically interlink the articles, which with this AI, it does it automatically, right? If you produce content here, it finds the place, best place, sorry, to add a link, right? Chooses the anchor text, right? And before it adds a link here, it goes out to, through your site and reads the whole site and the whole blog post and find, okay, what's the most relevant blog post we can link out to? Okay, it's this one, we link out to this one, right? And nothing is random, right? On top of that, it also does the keyword research for you. So if you go here to keyword monitors, just add in your site, add your language, add your country, and it will give you a list of keywords that you can target, and then you can have the AI produce content based off of these keywords, right? He also, uh, by the way, he also integrates with all these platforms, WordPress, Shopify, Go, Speaks, Wealthful Blogger. So you can post straight to these platforms automatically or manually. If you want to do it automatically, because manually you can just go here, generate articles, and once they're done, go here and click uh, publish, right? But if you want to automate the process, just go here to auto blogs, create a new auto blog, right? Select how many articles you want to produce and publish. Most people just do five every week, so Monday through Friday. And what's doing here is this is an automatic blog. So you connect the AI with your site, right? This is your WordPress site or Shopify, whatever you want. And it, if you want, it can do the keyword research for you, right? Then it does the content generation, right? It takes these keywords and produces content based off of these keywords. Then it publishes the content to your site automatically, in this case, every week, five articles, Monday through Friday. Then it automatically indexes the content in Google. So you set up an indexer right here. And as soon as the article reaches your site, right? These are individual articles in your site. They will be automatically sent to Google for indexing. On top of that, as soon as they land on your site, we also automatically syndicate them to your social media platforms. That's LinkedIn, Twitter, which is now called X, and also uh, Facebook. So you can automate the whole process, right? And with ChatGPT, unfortunately, you cannot do that. But my point here is that the prompt you need to use isn't just a text prompt, right? Because I mean, you can use it, but that won't bring you the best results, right? The prompt is every single thing you feed to the AI, right? Whether that's the keywords, right? Did you use to generate the content? Whether that's the generation on the generation tab, right? All of this stuff right here. Let me go here real quick. All this stuff right here, right? And I'll go over this real quick, right? So for example, you can automate the videos, right? Or you can make them manually. So it, when you generate the article, right? We'll read through it and then go on YouTube and find, okay, what's the most relevant video on YouTube we can add to this article. And then we'll figure out, okay, where's the best section, where's the best part of this article to add the video to, right? That's the very first thing. Or you can just automate this or do it manually if you want to add it manually, right? Same thing for images, right? You can choose a bunch of image providers. If you choose AI, you can even add custom prompts to make them look brand tailored, right? Make them look hyper-realistic, illustrative, I mean, you can play around with this, right? External linking, right? You want to have links linking out to external sources. For example, let's say this is an article about finance, right? You talk about uh, the best stock picks for 2024, right? If you pick a certain stock and talk about a certain stock, you want to foment your arguments, right? So you might want to link out to Infinity, you might want to link out to maybe Bloomberg, maybe TechCrunch, right? These are all external links, right? But for example, you might not want might not want to link out to your competitors. So you can add rules to exclude certain sources, certain websites, or competitors, for example, right? And there's a bunch more rules here, but I want that to dip into this. Then internal linking, you might want to link out to other articles in the past, right? Let's say, for example, this is your site, you have a bunch of articles right here, and you might want to interlink between each other in a way that makes sense, right? So that the users spend more time on your site, right? And you automate all this just by adding your sitemap right here. Super cool. You can enable and disable all these sections. You can select the article length, right? Which again, is something you can do here, but it takes a lot of prompting, right? Written prompting, right? You can automate the headings if you want, or if you're not doing them manually, you can also do the article headings headings manually. One pretty cool thing about this is that if you just write this heading right here, I mean, if you leave them all blank, 
the AI will generate them all. But if you place this one right here, these ones that are blank will be generated with, by AI, but because you've added this one right here, these ones will be generated by AI, taking into account what this is right here, right? Taking into account this context. Or if, for example, if you write this one right here, again, the, all the ones in blank will be generated by AI, taking into account these two right here. So that's, that's pretty cool, right? So you can force different things right here. You can also have a custom call to action. For example, let's say you have a gardening brand, right? And you have a gardening Shopify store and you write articles about gardening, gardening supplies, all that. And at the bottom of your articles, right? If you add here a link to your Shopify store or to a certain product, at the bottom of your article, we'll create a custom section with a call to action to that certain product or service or even your whole store, right? Just that's pretty cool. Uh, you can even enable and disable all these things, bold, italics, tables, quotes. You can even connect this to the web so that the content is up to date. And here is where you connect your knowledge base, right? I, the, the brand thing I talked about, here is where you can create and connect your brand. So again, the AI produces content that's brand tailored using your own brand's images, tone of voice, and all that. Um, in regards to content, you can produce content in over 150 different languages. So if you're targeting international markets, this is quite cool, right? We have a couple of clients who have Shopify stores that sell all throughout Europe, right? And what they have is they have their main Shopify store, right? And then they have a blog, right? A blog in English with multiple different articles, right? But then they have multiple other blogs, one in Portuguese, right? One in Spanish one in Italian, right? All these blogs that are done with the auto blog, they have multiple auto blogs running in the back, publishing, right? And generating and publishing multiple blog posts, right? In each of these countries' local languages, ranking for keywords in each one of these countries' local languages. And all these blogs, right? Bring traffic to their local Shopify store, which is pretty cool, right? You can select the target country, you can select the creativity levels, tone of voice, point of view, formality, you can even give the AI some custom instructions and you can even have it so it includes your exact keywords. And then of course you can generate the content based off of titles, keywords, description, or based off of a keyword monitor, which was the thing that I showed you just a couple of minutes ago where the AI gives you keywords, right? So again, it's a lot of stuff, but like I said before, the better the input, the better the output, right? And again, you can produce some decent content here because there's two things here. The way you can produce the content and it's better with this AI, right? Because here's very limited. And the second is the level of automation, right? The fact that with this, you can have the articles being published to your site on autopilot every single day, right? Making sure they're properly optimized with images, videos, tables, bullets, quotes, linking to other articles you've published in the past, external linking to other sources, right? Then having them syndicated to your social media platforms uh, by doing this here and indexing them in Google uh, all at the same time. So again, there isn't a magic prompt, but the thing is that you gotta leverage the AI that gives you the best opportunity to develop the best prompt that's tailored to your brand. That's very important. Again, the analogy of, of, of the wrench that I gave you before, oh, this, this uh, wrench that allows you to do more because AI, again, is essentially a technology that allows you to do more, to go further faster, is something that's really well paired with this other analogy that I call the stair analogy. That if you reach the top, we have success at the top, right? And previously, before right, before this wrench existed, before the AI technology existed, because again, pairing this with the, the wrench, right? Before the, the wrench existed, people used to have tied and tied up bolts with their hands. Now that this exists, they can do it, they can do the same thing, but quite faster. Before AI in the SEO space, people have to do the Q research manually, right? Then write the content, right? Then, okay, once it's written, we gotta source the images, source the videos then do the internal linking, do the external linking, then post it, then syndicate it to social media. It took so much time. And now because of AI, you can do the same 10 times faster because you skip ahead of the line, right? Because it does all this for you. There's the keyword research, content generation, content publishing, content indexing, content syndication. And in this, inside the content generation, it is properly optimized blogs with featured images, tables of contents, in-article images, in-article videos, bullets, tables, quotes, internal links, external links, so much stuff, right? Again. You can do more faster, right? So yeah, that's it. That's the video. I'll leave a link down below for this uh, tool right here. Try it out. Let me know what you think. If you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know as well. And I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.